All right, today we're going to do a quick recap of what we covered in the PC editing class. And this is Sony Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 12. It's not the most current version of Sony Vegas. I paid $40 for it on Amazon.com. And it, for 40 bucks, it's a very robust editor. And for doing my real estate videos, really has everything I need. So you could spend more money, but I don't think you need it. So I'm just going to put together a very simple real estate video with just one clip uh, and a bumper that I made in Photoshop just to show you how simple uh, Sony Vegas is to use. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in a little bumper I made. And I made this in Photoshop. Uh, so let's, pl let's play that real quick. Oop. All right, so you can see now you're probably saying that doesn't look very clear. Well, the, the program has to render and it can take a while, so I'm not going to do that in this video. Uh, you don't really need to do it right here in the timeline. When you upload to YouTube, it'll come out clear, you know, as long as you shot good quality video. Uh, I don't necessarily love using, there's bumpers in, you know, preloaded bumpers that you can use in. Uh, Sony Vegas. I like to make my own in Photoshop. I just think they look more modern. You know, some of the pre-made bumpers and beginning and ending clips to me look a little hokey, you know, maybe a little old style. So, but, but you know, you can play around with them and see if you like them or not. Uh, now I'm going to drag in a video that I shot actually using my GoPro. And it's basically just a little driving video. And it is, I can see that it is pretty long. I only want to use about 15 seconds of it. So I'm going to let the timeline go to where I want it to stop. And I'm going to show you how I trim off what I don't want to use. So I just wanted to show the car getting onto the freeway. And I'm going to stop it right here. I can move the timeline over. Now instead of dragging it, I can also use the precision uh, editor over or the, the button over here to move things along. So that's about where I want it. Uh, all right, so now I'm just going to trim the end off, or I could just split it. If I split it, I'm going to get two pieces. I can just delete this. All right, so now if I go back. I've got, I have a little bit of road noise. There's a couple ways I can either take, I can turn that off or I can turn it down. If I just, if I don't want that to be playing in my final copy, I can just click mute right over here. And now when I play it, there's no sound. Or I have the option of turning it down. So I can just grab the hand. If you can hear that, the volume is going way down to the car, the, the car noise. So I might just leave that in. So now I want to add some music. Now if you notice, I've got a music layer. So I'm just going to add my music. You just drag it and drop it into the music layer. And if we notice it's way too long for this clip, so I'm just going to grab the end of it. I'm just going to drag it. And it'll snap. See how it kind of snaps to the end? It knows exactly where the end point is. Uh, all right, so let's take a look at our video now. Oop, I can make it go back just by clicking go to start here. And now let's play it. And I don't recommend using Nirvana for your real estate videos. All right. So that, that again, that music's probably a little louder than I want. So I'm going to turn it way down. So now let's hear. That's better. I can probably even turn that down a little more. Let's just turn that 
way down. Okay, the other thing is when you go from clip to clip, it's nice to have some transitions. So to do that, I can just grab a corner. I don't have a great map. My mouse isn't that spectacular, so. And you just kind of hover over and look for fade out offset. So I'm just going to drag, and you see that line that tells me there'll be a second of a cross dissolve going from different, um, going from this opening bumper to my video. So now when I Play the play. Let's play it at the playhead here, and we'll watch what happens. You can watch up up here in the viewer. And you see, there's like a little bit of a fade, which I like. Now the other, th I can do that also with the music. So I just don't like the music just to start. Some music just starts off really loud. I might just want it to fade in nicely, which I can see here. It's doing that. So I've got it set for about a second. I also want to fade out the video at the end, so I'm just going to fade out here. And I can see that's about a second. It tells me fade out offset 1.01. That's about a second. That's, that's pretty close. And uh, all right, so now my video is ready to be uploaded to YouTube. I can do that right through Sony Vegas very easily. Let's go to Project and Upload to YouTube. And you need to fill out everything completely, otherwise it won't upload. So you need to put in your username and password, description, video category, tags. Uh, I usually like to make my videos private until I have all my titles and descriptions and tags the way I want it. So usually I do that later. And render quality, I always go for higher because I want to get the 720p. So once this is all uh, filled out, just click upload and uh, you should see your YouTube or the video in YouTube in just a few minutes. So anyway, thanks again for coming. Stay tuned for more tips and tutorials from Dave Mason uh, from Grand Canyon Title and NVIDIA.com.